Welcome back to the Retro Tech Repair Shop. Today I have another modern item. The reason I bought this off of eBay is because apparently it was a player that has never been used, left in the box, and when they did try and use it, it didn't play the DVDs. But I thought for £7.50 it was worth a try. Let's unbox it, see what we got. A new remote, got some leads, very good. I think you can see this is uh, definitely not been used. This is an LG, it's a BD550. This is the year of manufacture was February 2011. So before I power it up, I'm going to take the lid off, have a look inside and see if there's anything obvious. Relatively empty isn't it? So we've got a power supply card here with the controls on it main processor board here and the disc unit here okay just checking that the edge connector in there is connected up okay and that goes down to here yeah they're all in at this stage I can't see anything obvious so I'm going to power it up Put a disc in and give it a try. Right, switch it on. Good. Open, close. Right, let's put a disc in. It's just a normal. DVD. Okay. Not getting a grip on the disc. Right, something's not right with this element there. Not sitting in there currently. Check this locking mechanism. Doesn't seem to be grabbing hold. Take that off. Okay, I think I've worked out what the problem is. It's the magnet function that holds these two together, clamps the disc and spins it up correctly. But this bit is stuck to here. I think this has come unglued 
from here. This has got glue marks on it, and but it wasn't in here. So I think that should be glued into position on that spindle, and then this clamps down on it, but it shouldn't come out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue that back into its correct position, reassemble it, and I think we'll be done. Okay, let that dry. That's much better. It's clamping the disc properly now. Right. Working fine. Just going to put it back together again. Job done. That's it. In the end it uh, was quite a simple repair. Didn't cost any money and it was found just by observing the problem and then narrowing down what could be the cause and then finding out it was uh, the glue on the magnet that had uh, failed. So a nice simple one. Thanks for watching. See you again.